So now that we have talked a little bit about the history of the periodic table and some of the, the forerunners that developed it, let's take a look now at the modern periodic table and, and some of the ways that we can describe it and what it does for us. First, we want to talk about labeling and naming the periodic table. And, and what we mean by that is, is, yes, it's the periodic table. That's the name of, of what we're looking at. But there are ways to describe some of the columns, the rows, uh, ways of, uh, of, of not only labeling them, but also it helps you with the terms of how many valence electrons there might be, et cetera, et cetera. And we'll see that as we move along. Quickly, vertical columns going up and down on the periodic table families or groups. My periodic table in the room has group one and you can see that on the top that's not going to go hope, go away hopefully you can remember the name groups. You can also call them families, vertical columns. The horizontal rows are called periods, periods or series. You can see on the bottom near number 57 it says lanthanide series. It's uh, lanthanum is the first element in that series, the lanthanide series. We also call them periods as well. Um, now, there is also a way of describing or labeling, okay? So getting a little bit more specific to it. Unfortunately, there are three ways. I wish there was one, but we have the US way, the European way and the what's called IUPAC way. IU, IUPAC stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Basically a group that gets together and, and helps uh, devise and determine some of this, the rules and regulations that might be out there for, for chemistry. Um, so the US way, let's, let's describe a little bit more about this. The U, both the U.S. and European way use Roman numerals and the letters A and B to label the vertical columns. Roman numerals and the letters A and B. Um, the U.S. way, and I'm going to kind of put this up here. Here, let's see. The U.S. way, the S and P block are the A's, and the D block, the transition metals are the B's. The European way, a little different, the European ways simply A's then B's. So if we go US way, S and P block are the A's, the D block are the B's, the European way, the A's and then B's. But they still both use Roman numerals. Okay? The IUPAC way is the simplest way. This is one through 18. All right, the UPAC way goes 1 through 18. It's the one that I have on my periodic table, 1 through 18. The unfortunate thing, I mean, that's the simplest way of doing it, but the unfortunate uh, idea about the uh, UPAC way is that it doesn't describe uh, valence electrons, so that's what's useful with the US or European way. So let's take a look at the next slide. All right, so the next slide will really um, kind of explain that a little bit more. Okay, so Let's clean this up and hopefully I can make it crystal for you folks here. Um, now, let's go IUPAC way. One, two, three, four, five through 18. Okay, so this is the IUPAC way. Not, not to be confused with Tupac, the IUPAC way. Um, the next. The U.S. way, Roman numeral 1A, 2A, this is going to be the 3A. Like I said, the S, remember the S block is over here, and the P block is right here. So the S and P are both the, are, are the A's. So 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, and 8 a. That's the U.S. way. Um, in the middle are the B's. Now it's a little bit of a wrinkle with the B's in the middle. Again, I wish it was easy, but in the middle, this is 1B and this family is 2B. Okay? Um, 1B and 2B. And you can't quite see the B too well, but this is the Roman numeral 2B, Roman numeral 1B. It starts over there and again it has something to do with the electrons in the outermost level. Uh, energy level, just know one and two starts there, 
3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, and 8. Oops, let's do it this way. 8B is all three of these. <coughs> all right, so from iron, oops, iron through nickel and these family, these are all together, the 8Bs. All right, so that's the U.S. way. Um, and the European way, 1A, 2A, this is 3A, 4A. Again, it would continue here, 8A, and then 1B, 2B, 3B, through 8B. Now, the European way. This is blue is European, and the U.S. was the red one, okay? Uh, please notice, though, that the U.S. and European, the 1A and 2A, and the 1B and 2B are the same. That helps me remember that the U.S. has that 1 and 2B over here, and then it goes 3. And notice that all the numbers, 3s, 4s, 5s, 8s, whatever it might be, are all the same for both the U.S. and the European way. Okay, so those are ways of labeling the periodic table.